Ito na ang show tungkol sa pera na maiintindihan mo. Matuto kung paano mag-save, makalaya sa utang, mag-invest at palaguin ang pera mo. Hello everybody! Welcome to your Money Matters! I'm your host, Risa Sing San Kaupeng. Kasama ang mga hari ng kapirahan bilang mga bisita para sa ating pilot episode. Alam ba ng mga tao bakit ang mayaman lalong yung mayaman at saka ang mga mahirap lalo naging mahirap? Kasi ang mga yayaman, they know what to do eh. Whether may pera ka or wala, kailangan mo ng, ng financial education. Uh, financial education talaga, it's actually free kung uh, alam mo kung saan mo ka makakuha ng financial education. Because when we talk about money, hindi lang pera-pera yan. Take the mystery out of your finances. Alamin at i-apply ang sikreto ng mga mayayaman. So you can grow your money and retire wealthy. Samahan kami ngayong Merkulis at 8 o'clock p.m. sa Your Money Matters. Hello everybody! Welcome to Your Money Matters. I'm your host, Risa Singson Kaupeng. And in this episode, we'll be learning from millennials. Mga bata pa lang pero financially savvy na. Marunong ng mga laga at palakihin ang kanilang kinikita. Mamaya lang, ating makikilala si Chai Santiago Gamo, isang bagong ina, at si Randy Epa, millennial na barista na nasipa sa trabaho niya. Ba't kaya? Malalaman natin mamaya. They will teach us things to help us preserve and grow our wealth. Nako, masinsin ang usapan ito. Because when we talk about money, Hindi lang pera-pera yan. So I promise you, if you stick around till the end of the show, siguradong may matututunan kayo to move your finances forward so that you can retire wealthy. Palagay mo, noong 2017, 684 billion pesos ang ginastan nating mga Pilipino para sa pangangalaga ng ating kalusugan. Lampas kalahati niyan, ay galing sa sarili nating mga bulsa. Every year, isa't kalahating milyong mga pamilya ang sumasadsad sa kahirapan dahil may nagkasakit sa kanila at wala silang health insurance. Sa palagay mo, ano ang mas mahal? Magbayad ng health insurance na sasagot sa gastusin mo pag ikaw ay magkasakit o magbayad ng doktor, ospital at gamot? Hello, welcome back to Your Money Matters. And as promised, makikilala na natin ang ating mga panelists na mga millennials. Ito na si Chai Santiago Gamo at si Randy Epa. Hello, guys! Hello! Hi, Miss Viva. Good evening. Hi, Chai. Kamusta ang bagong ina? Bagong panganak po kasi si Chai eh. Ano, kamusta naman ang motherhood? I am enjoying motherhood. Uh, mabait si Cassie. Once lang siya gumigising sa madaling araw. So, may tulog kami. <laughs> wow! Mapanad! Mapanad na mo ni Patrick. Okay. And si Randy naman. Randy, kamusta ka? Well, uh, all is well, no, Miss Riza? At uh, of course, no, I'm so proud with Chai um, as she enter motherhood. Kasi like Chai, uh, newlywed. This year. <laughs> wow, talaga. Congratulations. Yeah. Nako, kaya ka importante talaga tong pinag-uusapan nating pera kasi itong mga tong uh, panelists natin mga bagong kasal itong mga to. At syempre, pag bagong kasal eh, iniisip mo agad gastusin at tuloy-tuloy na na ano, 'di ba? Parang gripo 'yan ang pera kaya napaka ano, marami tayong matututunan dito sa dalawang to. So una, Ah, uh, nakamusta ko na si Chai Randy. Uh, ikaw ay dating barista at binuko ko na yes. ikaw kanina na <laughs> ikaw ay na natanggal sa trabaho. Ikwento mo nga sa amin ano nangyari. <laughs> yeah, okay, no, Miss Risa. Well, actually that happens uh, 7 years ago. Uh, actually yan yung acting first work. So as a barista, uh, during my first year, no, uh, in the company 
uh, unfortunately, no, uh, that is because of my fault din naman. I was late. Ayan, no, problema ng no, mga millennial. <laughs> Nalilate. <laughs> so, nalate ako, no, um, uh, during my shift. And uh, it happens na during that time, I am already the one who is opening the store. So, I have responsibility. No? And it happens, no? uh, for the first time, uh, the CEO of our company no? visited the store for the very first time. No? More than 10 years na po yung store na yun. No? <laughs> Pero first time lang mag-visit yung CEO doon. Na champohan pa na ako yung na-late at uh, hindi ko na-open yung store. I was late like I think around 5 to 10 minutes. And because of the company's uh, strict policy, no, ayun, no. Unfortunately, uh, I was called immediately. Doon sa office. Then after two hours, no, um, the HR told me to get back a week from now. And when I get back, ayun, uh, I am already uh, forced. Tanggal ka na sa trabaho. Natanggal ako sa work. Patay one strike policy pala sa opisina ninyo. Paano ba yan? Buti na lang wala ka pang asawa nung time na yun, Randy, no? That's true, uh, Miss Riza. <laughs> okay. Kasi mahirap mawala ng trabaho, lalo na pag meron kang binubuhay. ba? Sige, oh. Randy, babalikan ka namin, ha? At uh, alam ko, marami ka pang ikakwenta sa amin. Siya, ikaw naman, paano ka naging financial coach? Anong kwentong buhay mo? Uh, kaya ngayon, eh, ikaw ay nagtuturo uh, sa ibang tao kung paano pangalagaan ang perang kinikita nila. Okay. Uh, ang background ko talaga is that I am an engineer by education. Pero um, after I graduated, that was already after my parents went through this whole um, problem about debt. So, nalubog yung parents ko sa utang. Pareho din silang engineers, pero hindi sila marunong humawak ng pera kahit malaking kinikita nila. So, uh, parang naging lesson yun for me and our family. So after ko graduate I had this um ano ba parang passion burning within me na I have to share what I know I have to um, teach other millennials the lessons that I have learned from my parents so I tried it at first sinubukan ko lang kung para sa akin ba yung yung industry na to and I would say that it is because I've been doing this for 7 years already so like, simula talaga siya dahil sa parents ko because of um, their experience and I want to make sure that other people will not have to go through it, especially yung mga younger generation. Parang, I took it as my responsibility. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so ang, ang pag-uusapan natin talaga, ang topic natin for this episode is healthcare, yung health insurance. Pero before we we go there, um gusto ko lang malaman like um so Chai, ikaw even before you started working, um parang naisip mo na na I have to, you know, I have to take care of um, you know, how I, I how I invest, how I say. So how did you start do how did you start doing that? Actually, um, maaga kaming naturuan how to save and invest kasi nga dahil sa experience nila mommy. But personally, I only started investing when I started earning. So, I was taught to budget and yung tinuro sa akin ng parents ko. Actually, tinuturo din to sa community, sa The Feast. Uh, yung 10, 20, 70. So, 10%, give it back to the church. 20% you invest, and then the 70% you spend for your needs and your wants. Yeah, so dun, yun po yung parang pina follow ko simula nung nag start ako magur. Randy, ikaw naman, uh, anong, ano yung ano, paano hinahandle yung finances mo dati? Bago ka, bago ka nawalan ng trabaho, <laughs> paano mo hina, uh, ina, ginagasta yung pera mo? Oh, uh, ibang iba po, no, kay Chai. <laughs> because, uh, um, natuto lang ako in my finances, no, when I, uh, uh, when I attended a seminar, uh, with IMG. No? Pero prior to that, no, uh, actually, yung nangyari sa akin nung natanggal nga ako sa work, that is actually one of my turning point. Why? Why, Miss Reza, no? Because yung continuation nun is, uh, nung natanggal ako sa trabaho, ako po yung bunso sa magkakapatid. Pero, um, 
yung mother ko is uh, uh, retired na. So, wala siyang income, walang na-save, no? So, technically, ako yung nagpo-provide kasi both of my uh, uh, siblings, no, uh, has already have their own family. So, ako na lang ang mag- 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 nagpo-provide ngayon, no, in our household. And then, yun, uh, because I am uneducated, no, pagdating sa finances, nung natanggal ako sa work, that is also the time where my mother is, uh, uh, ay merong sakit, no, uh, may katarak siya. At uh, during that time, kailangan na siyang maoperahan. So, alam mo yun, no, Miss Riza, nung nangyari yung, uh, yung natanggal ako sa trabaho, uh, na-wipe out yung, yung savings ko, no, because uh, I need to find, di ba? Kasi, ano na eh, uh, may daily expenses, no. So, yung kakarumpot na naipon ko nun, unti-unti na uubos, and, uh, and syempre, uh, as, a, as a 21 years old, Tapos bigla kang natanggal, I'm quite depressed during that time. So parang wala akong confidence maghanap ng trabaho. No, kasi ano eh, uh, parang gano lang pala kabilis mawala sa work. So parang uh, I was I remember I am afraid during that time na magtrabaho ulit. Pero at the same time, alam mo yon, na drain na yung finances namin. So it was actually a total mess pagdating sa finances no during that time. But by God's grace, no, by God's grace, eh, uh, uh, naka-attend ako no, ng isang service, no, uh, a ministry service yon, And uh, bumalik yung aking confidence. And then I look for a job. And at the same time, I look for, uh, for a seminar where I, where I can attend at matuto. No? At nung naka-attend ako ng seminar na yon, that was sponsored by IMG, okay, my life turned. No? Kasi doon ko naintindihan, oh my God, kailangan pala ng emergency fund. <laughs> yun yung wala ako. No? Uh, yun yung hindi ko natutunan. And my parents didn't even told me about that concept. No? And from then on, no, na tinuro sa akin yung, mga, uh, yung tinatawag na solid financial foundation. And uh, I started uh, applying that. No? At doon lang talaga ako natuto, Ms. Riza. No? Nung umatend ako ng seminar after that... Uh, depressing <laughs> stage of uh, my life uh, seven, eight years ago. So, grasa pa ng Diyos yun, ha, na, na naisip mong maghanap ng seminar tungkol sa pera. Kasi, I, me, I've never, I never thought of, uh, you know, looking for a seminar uh, on money. So, uh, ikaw naman, Chai, uh, so you were, you, okay, medyo, ikaw mas may alam ka about um, finances, how to handle finances. Kasi nga, sa parents mo. So, na, na, ano mo talaga yun? Na, na susundan mo yung budget na, sinabi, na sinabi mo, yung 10, 20, 70, na pagkakasya mo yung 70 sa gastusin mo? Okay. Honesty time. <laughs> uh, dahil nag-start like, ako working for IMG immediately and I earned two commissions. Yung simula, talagang sobrang liit lang ng commission ko. So, ang hirap pagkasyahin. As in, I never had yung normal 15th and 30th kasi hindi pa naman masyadong nag-grow yung um, business ko nung time na yun. So talagang, ano ba, may, may, syempre may mga moments I couldn't invest, pero yung 10% talagang pinakollow ko yun. And um, eventually, parang nakasanayan ko na rin sundan yung 10, 20, 17 nung nag-start na yung mag-grow yung income. Pero hindi, siya, hindi po siya like 100% all the time, high and go in. Uh, syempre, may mga moments talaga na matitent ka rin, ganyan. Especially pag meron kaming mga travels or uh, merong mga upcoming na major expenses, minsan masiset aside mo rin siya. Pero, um, of course, we have to go back to, to doing it pa <laughs> Yeah, pero at least meron kang sinusundan, di ba? Kasi pag, pag uh, di ba, kahit na medyo mag ka, at least meron kang sinusundan. Okay, uh, mag-break lang tayo kasi ang gusto ko talagang tumbukin dito sa episode na to is about healthcare. And the question is, kayong ang babata ninyo, di ba? Kailangan pa ba ng healthcare para sa mga, you know, millennials na kagaya nyo? But ayan uh, po ang uh, sasagutin nilang tanong pagbalik po natin after our commercial break. Ang 
makalaya sa usap. Sa usaping pinansyal, magkaroon ng sapat na kaalaman. Matutong mag-ipon para sa kinabukasan. Ang pinagpaguran, hindi masasayang, hindi mababaliwala. Mahalagahan ang kinikita para sa sarili, para sa pamilya, para sa mga mahalag sa buhay. Ako! Kami! Tayo! Join ako! Kaya nating abutin ang 30 million Filipinos financially educated by the year 2030. Hashtag 30M2030. Corina Sanchez Rojas, kasama ninyo sa isang makabuluhang misyon. Kahit ano man ang estado natin sa buhay, we keep working. But we keep forgetting, we seem to forget that health is the real wealth. Kasi you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Ang mas nangangailangan yung mga lalong nahihirapan. Kung kaya naman nilang maghulog ng paunti-unti, basta meron kanya, may protection ka. Kasi baka yung kinikita mo hindi sapat sa pambili ng gamot. Marami nakakasakit, mga anak, di ba, o ikaw mismo. Lalo kung ikaw yung breadwinner, nagtatrabaho ka para sa pamilya mo, tapos bigla ka nagkasakit, paano na yung pamilya mo? At kahit nga anong estado, it's one thing off your list ang aalalahanin. Kahit ako, di ba? So, that's why it's important to have it. Kasama ko ang Kaiser, kahit maputi na ang buhok ko. May Kaiser health card ka na ba? Sharon Cuneta po, para sa Kaiser. At nagbabalik po tayo dito sa Your Money Matters and ang pag-uusapan po natin talaga is about healthcare. At ang tanong ko kanina, para sa mga bata kagaya ninyo na malakas, you know, hindi nyo na, hindi naman kayo na o hospital, di ba? Kailangan nyo pa ba ng healthcare? Ha? Randy, ikaw, um, based on your experience. <laughs> well, uh, Miss Rita, definitely, kailangan talaga. No? Why? Uh, because yun nga, uh, alam naman natin no, na ang healthcare, uh, especially in the Philippines, no, uh, karamihan naman yan e eh, benefit natin sa company, right? So while, while we are employed, uh, the company uh, uh, covered us, no, uh, comprehensive uh, HMOs, no. Uh, pero alam alam na alam rin natin, no, na hindi tayo habang buhay employed. Just like on my experience, no, at 21 years old, na experience ko kagad eh, na employment is not permanent. Now, na experience ko din at the same time in my family, nagkasakit yung mom, yung mother ko at the same time yung father ko, no? Uh, actually, ma, mas ma, mas matindi yung nangyari sa father ko because nung na stroke po siya uh, for the first three days, half million po kagad ang wow. naubo sa family, di ba? So because of that uh, experiences no, uh, in my family, even at 21 years old, the moment I attended a seminar no, in building a solid financial foundation, it's just like the speaker no, is, uh, alam mo yun, kinukwento niya yung buhay ko. <laughs> yung buhay ng family namin. Because no one in my family, uh, uh, alam mo yun, um, no one in my family um, learned about that concept no so that's why the moment i learned about that no years ago alam ko kagad sa sarili ko na ito yung tamang gawin sa pagmanage ng finances that's why healthcare uh ginawan ko kagad ng paraan uh, how can i start immediately no dahil kapag dumating na naman yung time at mawala na naman ako sa employment no at least mawala man yung benefit ko sa uh, employment oh, pero yeah. na yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, and then after that, no, uh, ang next na ginol ko is to get an insurance because I don't want to happen the same thing na nangyari sa father ko. Kaya I also secure that, no, and then so on and so forth, no. Kaya uh, what, what, uh, <laughs> sorry, ah, yes, Randy, so, so you mean yung parents mo nung lumalaki ka, uh, wala sila talagang healthcare. Your mom didn't have, your dad didn't have. Yung daddy yeah. mo, wala rin siyang healthcare sa trabaho niya? Yes, actually, my father, no, Miss Riza, is an OFW. OFW oh. po kasi siya. No? So, nasa abroad po siya. No? Tapos, uh, nag-abroad yung tatay ko when I was, uh, I think, a month old. No? Tapos, uh, nag-for good na po siya when I was mag nine years old. No? At kung kailan siya nag-for good sa Pilipinas, uh, doon siya nag-pass away. 
no? So, ah. kaka-uwi na ng dito noon. Tapos nag-pass away siya. So, hindi nila naisip, no? Like, a typical law FW, you no? Know? Uh, ang ang investment is real estate, ganyan, lupa, okay, so bahay. <laughs> ganun, ganun yung, doon nag-spend yung, yung father ko, no? Uh, they never thought about uh, having big insurance. So, that's why, yun, umuwi yung father ko, uh, namatay siya. Uh, yung mga lupa na inaccumulate nila, hindi ko nabenta. Because of uh, what happened, no? And with my mom naman, Uh, my mom kasi is a housewife, no, Miss Riza. And uh, my mom is an Indonesian. So I'm a half Filipino. <laughs> half oh. Indonesian. Oh, so so my mom hindi siya makahanap ng regular na trabaho because of documents. Okay, and a housewife ka dito, no, sa Philippines, no. So wala po talaga. Wala talagang uh, healthcare, no, backup, uh, retirement funds or whatever, no. So our family is completely financially illiterate. No? So that's why uh, going back no I when I attended a seminar about financial literacy this is actually one parang alam mo yun parang eureka sa akin eh parang oh ito yung ito yung kulang sa family namin ito yung hindi namin nagagawa so that's why uh sineryoso ko kagad siya even at 21 years old and 21 during that time and then wow you know yeah. talaga reason na makapag-build no So so parang ang nangyari kay Randy po yung uh, pinagtrabahuhan ng tatay niya pagkauwi eh nagastos din bago na matay ano yes. parang ganun din wala ng healthcare. Okay, Chai, ikaw naman um, you your parents I'm sure they had um, healthcare because uh, when they were working for um, uh, their companies, 'di ba, yung employment nila? Yes, we were actually covered. As in, growing up, I would remember going to mga checkups, sa mga vaccines, ganyan. Pero nung na-retire sila, nawalan sila ng healthcare. And medyo naging scary moment yun for us. Kasi during that time, my mom was hypertensive. So, ang dami niyang back and forth sa hospital na parang kung wala, sig- siguro kung wala silang back pay from their... Um, companies, baka nangudang palalo or something. So, dun, actually, na-realize ko rin from, from their experience na importante my healthcare. But apart from their personal experience, I guess ako, yung lahat ng stories na narinig ko from the people I've encountered, I guess that's what um, compelled me talaga all the more to believe in the importance of healthcare. Kasi ang dami ko na rin na-meet Nakatulad ni Randy na yung parents walang healthcare, tumanda nang hindi din nakapag-ipon, so lahat ng pinaghirapan na wipe out dahil lang sa isang sakit. And it's a very very common story among Filipinos, especially here in our country, wala tayong um wala talaga tayong healthcare program. So we really have to get for our not enough, not, not enough. Meron not naman enough. kasing full health, pero it's not enough to cover you kapag no. nagkasakit ka talaga, no? So, and, kailangan talaga ng healthcare. Yes, yes and I even hear stories, yung mga pumipila for um, parang reimbursement or help from PCSO, di ba? Talagang kailangan mo rin i-prove na kailangan mo ng assistance <laughs> kung, kung mm-hmm. kailangan mo ng tulong from them. Pero apart from um, those programs, kulang. We really have to get our own healthcare. Chai, kwentuhan mo kami yung nangyari right before your wedding. Kasi feeling ko talaga yan, yan ay isang katunayan na kailangan talaga natin ng healthcare. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, last year, we were we were scheduled, scheduled. We were planning to get married ng August 30, 2019. So, talagang nakasettle na lahat. Um, relax na lang dapat yung last week namin uh, prior to the wedding. And then, Saturday, so our wedding was on a Friday. Saturday before our wedding, yung husband-to-be ko, nagkasakit. Akala namin normal fever lang kasi excited or na- daming puyat, ganyan. But then, hindi. He got dengue, and we were in the hospital for, I think, a week. And imagine dengue lang yun, ah. Uh, 
technically too big lang yung dextrous lang yung kailangan bayaran para resetable wala namang kahit ano pero ang laki din ng bill namin and actually at first we were worried na baka malaking ilabas ganyan or something but thank god kasi na cover na cover nung healthcare ng husband ko yung lahat ng expenses and take note my then boyfriend fiance who's now my husband is a ano ba, he's not really a freelancer pero wala siyang coverage from his company kasi parang um, psychotherapist counselor siya pero parang independent so he, ha- he had to get for himself can you just imagine kung hindi siya kumuha ng sarili niyang healthcare baka apart from the stress na na cancel yung yung original date na wedding kasi ang dami naming um, kailangan i-move siguro dagdag stress pa kung wala siyang healthcare so thank god talaga na kumuha siya ng healthcare kasi ang laking ang laking relief din yun for us Imagine nyo, mag-uumpisa pa lang kayo ng bago nyong buhay, tapos na, kung wala kang healthcare, lubog na kayo agad sa utang, hindi pa bayad yung pedo. <laughs> Correct! So, yan po talaga. Kaya hindi po natin masasabi na kahit bata ka, ay, bata pa ako, hindi ko kailangan ng healthcare. But really, yun naman natin kasi napipredict kung kailan natin kailangan. And, um, Randy, merong iba-ibang klaseng healthcare, no? Kasi like, um, uh, yung sinasabi ni, ni Chai at saka yung, uh, let's say, yung mommy mo na biglang kailangan ng, um, you know, procedure or operation, that's an immediate healthcare, di ba? Pero usually... Yeah. Tay, you know, kaya na hospital ka kung kailan ka tumatanda, eh paano yun? Eh yun yung time na wala ka na sa trabaho. Hindi ka na covered ng kumpanya. <laughs> That's true, Miss Lisa, no? And actually, that is the reason no, na talagang uh, hinanap ko talaga, no? At inaral ko yung mga iba't ibang klase ng healthcare. And I found out na merong tatlong klase ng healthcare. We have a short-term healthcare, long-term healthcare, and senior care, no? And uh, normally, yung as an employed, uh, short term lang talaga siya, no? And uh, because of my experience, nakita ko eh, nakita ko sa sa parents ko na nung tumanda sila, lumabas talaga yung sakit, no? And andun din yung reality na hindi mo ta- hindi ka talaga uh, employed for the rest of your life. No, nung inaral ko yung uh, uh, long-term healthcare, no, I found out na ang function niya pala is very ideal for millennials katulad ko no kasi uh, during this time no uh, never ako na hospitalized praise god no uh, for the past uh, seven years or eight years na nag work ako never ako na hospitalized no at yung function ng long term healthcare na inaral ko okay um, kapag hindi ka na hospital yung binabayad mo nagiging savings so that in the future when the time has come, nakakailanganin mo na siya, meron na. So, when I uh, saw that kind of program, I said, this is the type of healthcare na kailangan ko as a millennial. No? Kaya yun, no? uh, Ms. Riza, I started. Okay, pala yun, no? yung hindi ka pa, parang naiipon mo. Habang on, in your health years, naiipon mo siya for when you need it, pag-retired ka na, at doon ka nagkasakit. Okay. Yes. Ano naman yung senior, you, you, you also mentioned yung third kind, the senior health care. Yes, no, for the senior care naman, no, um, senior care is a type of health care na kung saan kinocover niya naman, obviously, yung mga seniors. No? Pero what I found about this uh, health care, it is very expensive. Okay, it's very expensive. No? Kaya, kaya talagang na-realize ko din, no, for those people na, alam mo yun, um, hindi nila binibigyan ng halaga yung pagkuha ng long-term healthcare, uh, they might end up getting the senior care. Pagtanda nila, pag nag-retire na sila, which is quite expensive. no? So, so with that, do, uh, talagang kahit pa paano naman, uh, may mga uh, available options naman sa atin. Pero alam mo yun, uh, dapat maging wise, di ba, tayo mm-hmm. sa finances because money mm-hmm. matters. No? Yeah, <laughs> Kaya, yeah. uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, and you're still healthy, you're still young, okay, better yet, kuha ka ng long-term healthcare, no? Tapos, i-maximize mo or i-appreciate mo yung short-term healthcare na meron ka sa company mo ngayon if you're employed, no? Pero for those who are already uh, 
uh, mag-retire na at ngayon lang napanood to or na-realize yung mga ganito, no? then don't worry because there's still options for you, yung uh, senior kid. Wow, okay. So, so Chai, um, kayo, I, I assume, meron kayo nung, ano, nung long-term healthcare kasi preparation yun eh, no? At maganda yan para sa mga edad nyo kasi you have a long time to compound, no? Yung, um, uh, ano, so so now is a good time for for um, people to get uh, you know at your age, no, Chai? In other countries, first world countries like Australia, sa kanila, uh, pag tungtong man ng 30 years old, they require nila kumuha yung mga tao ng what they call they call it private health care. Para pagdating ng future, merong ipon yung person in case may kailanganin siya for his or her health care needs. But, if hindi ka kumuha ng private health care, the government will increase your tax to make sure na meron, meron silang may ipon din na fund for you when you get old. But since, yun nga, dito sa atin, wala tayong ganun, wala pa tayong program na ganun, importante talaga that we get our personal long-term health care so we can take care of our medical needs when we get old, especially when we get old. Okay, ayan po, natutunan po natin mula sa ating mga napakabatang uh, mga financial uh, mentors tungkol sa healthcare, especially yung long-term healthcare na hindi natin, um, you know, hindi natin alam yan, hindi tunuturo yan sa atin sa college, hindi natin natutunan yan. Okay, so um, we'll just break for a commercial tapos pagbalik po natin, merong tanong na sasagutin ang ating mga batang financial mentors. Your Money Matters will be back. Bakit mahalaga ang life insurance? Yung experience pala na pag ikay nawawalan ng mahal sa buhay, hindi mo kaya mag-isa. Ang lungkot, 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 sasadsad ka, gagapang ka, iiyak ka. Ang pinakamaganda sa life insurance, it makes life easier para doon sa mga naiwan. Katulad na lamang halimbawa, Manila Banker's Life, para mong kamag-anak, para mong kapatid, na nariyan in your moment of grief, the best way to show your love is to assure your loved one that I will not only take care of you during your lifetime, but I will take good care of you in this lifetime and beyond. Boy abunda po para sa Manila Banker's Life, the best way to show your love. Protect yourself and your family and be certain with your future with Fidelity Life. It has been a long time dedicated partner of IMG that provides life insurance benefit exclusively to its members to meet their risk protection needs. In partnership with Everest Memorial Services, Fidelity Life is also providing its members with free access to 24-7 Memorial Concierge Services. With the consent of the beneficiary, Fidelity Life shall apply the insurance benefit to cover the expenses for the memorial services of the deceased member. At Fidelity Life, the care of our members and their families is our first and most important business. Be life confident by protecting your loved ones and securing your future. Kaiser Medical Center provides a wide array of diagnostic and medical care services, ranging from immediate quality medical care to consultation to individuals and companies all over the Philippines. And because we value your health, our ultimate goal is to be your partner in health and wellness even long after your visit with us. Kaiser Medical Center is a diagnostic clinic equipped with highly committed and experienced professionals willing to provide you with excellent healthcare service focused on health and wellness at all times. Our aim is to have a consistent, lifelong relationship with our patients by providing convenient and affordable quality medical care and consultation which is preventive and curative in a happy, safe, and friendly environment. Kaiser Medical Center, kaagapay mo sa kalusugan.
Good day po, I'm Chano. I'm a stockbroker by profession and also I'm an entrepreneur. So, bali po, there are two ways to increase earnings sa business po natin. Ano? It's either we increase our sales or we lower our expenses. But there is this gray area why most businesses or startup businesses fails. It's because of uh, mishandling of funds. So, my questions for you po is that uh, how much on our monthly uh, earnings should we allocate for our personal use and at the same time for our revolving fund in our business? Thank you. Okay, yan ang tanong ni Chano, isang uh, stock broker. So, uh, Chai, you want to answer the first part of his question? <laughs> Ayan, sige. So, how much is the percentage that we need to or alloc- we need to allocate for our personal mm-hmm. use. Ako, personally, niniwala ako. It depends on um, the cash flow of your business then. So, case-to-case basis. Kung magkano yung... So, importante na upuan din na merong statement of account yung business mo. So that you know how much you need to allocate or ibabalik mo as revolving funds and kung ilan lang yung pwedeng mapunta sa'yo. I don't think there's a um, one size fits all percentage. That's my personal take, ha. Uh, pero, uh, siguro kailangan ng rin mag-set siya ng goals. So, for example, uh, mag- may allocation din siya para makapag-ipon siya ng at least six months worth of yung revolving funds niya, di ba? Para pag may moments na nalugi, hindi, hindi siya magugulat sa ako kukuha ng pera para sa business ko. Or uh, hindi din pwedeng mas malaking napupunta sa personal use. Kasi actually, ano yun eh, problematic pag <laughs> hindi, parang walang uh, allocated na portion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so, oh, Randy, uh, I think nagiging problem kasi I think Chai was was you 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 were mentioning that no na parang especially if you have a business minsan ano yung yare kasi nagahalo yung personal money mo at sa kayong pera ng business so I guess yun yung tinatanong ni Chai no? what do you think about that paano bang uh, uh, dapat paghiwalay yun <laughs> Yeah, that, that's actually true, Miss Risa. No? Tama si si Chano. And uh, eh, on on uh, on my take, no, uh, on my part, uh, for me, uh, the conventional wisdom would be at least 25 percent. Okay, so we could apply that. No, 25 percent of our profit, uh, we could give back uh, doon sa business. Pero gaya nga ng uh, sabi ni Chai kanina, there's really no uh, one one strategy fits all. Talagang depende talaga to sa sa nature ng business mo and uh, alam naman natin ngayon no uh, ang dami yung mga merong mga side business di ba at meron din mga tao na nag full time na uh, on their business so what i suggest uh, doon sa mga uh, tao na may mga side business lang okay uh, what kay what they could do is um, yung income nila in the business pwede nilang gawing 70/30 meaning 70% ibalik nila doon sa business tapos yung 30% ilagay nila sa emergency fund ng business since meron pa silang full time income they could use that income for their personal expenses hindi nila ipaghahalo para lumaki yung business kasi binabalik mo yung profit no to the business well uh, kapag naggrow siya eventually magko full time ka doon eh so pag nag full time ka na doon sa business na yon then um pwede mo nang uh, kumuha ka na ng 25%, no? At 30%, all right? Tapos iwan mo na yung ano doon. So, uh, by doing that, nabibuild mo na yung habit, okay? While still a part-time uh, business owner. So, pag naging full-time ka na, by that time, kabisado mo na yung cash flow mo, kabisado mo na yung mga statements, no? And uh, you have already uh, uh, adjusted. Alam mo na yung percentage, no? At, uh, at yun, build na yung habit para hindi maghalo yung dalawang funds. Okay? So again, yes. start with the discipline. <laughs> yes, that's so true. Ayan, narinig nyo po from our financial experts. Pwede rin po kayong magtanong ng sarili nyo mga katanungan about your own financial uh, situations. Uh, just send your video questions to yourmoneymatters.ph at gmail.com at pag napili ang inyong tanong, ay makakakuha din po kayo ng expert advice. So I want to thank Chai and I want to thank Randy for the time that you've given us. Salamat sa mga tinuro niyo sa amin. 
Thank you so much. Thank Frida. you so much. Thank you for having and, us. Yes, and sigurado ako that if you uh, made it to the end of the show, you learned something that will move your finances forward. And I hope that the learning that you got today from Chai and from Randy will translate to a wealthier you so that you can retire comfortably. Till our next episode, I'm Risa Singh San Kaupeng. See you again next week. Bye! We would like to thank our sponsors. Learn the secret to saving and building your future. Become your own financial educator through IMG, International Marketing Group, your total financial solution. May Kaiser para sa'yo, kahit maputi na ang buhok mo. Kaiser International Health Group, the first name in healthcare. Seguridad ng buhay at proteksyon para sa mga minamahal. Manila Bankers Life Insurance Corporation, the best way to show your love. Nangungunang kaagapay mo sa kalusugan. Kaiser Medical Center, your partner in health and wellness.